Okay, today we are going to do a progressive hit workout. Got it written down on my phone. Just put it right up really quick. And we will be good to go. Okay. Shoot, this is cold. Okay, so a progressive hit workout is we're going to start off with five movements. We're going to have five movements and we're going to do them one or ten down to one. And our five movements are um, Squat jack, which we did yesterday, a dumbbell thruster, which we always also did yesterday. There. Did it continue to record? I guess it did. Sorry, something weird happened with my computer. That was really weird. Okay. And then an in and out. So, first move will be a squat jack. We'll do 10 of them. You'll be here, and you'll go out. Just like that. We're going to do 10. So let's go ahead, we'll do 10 of everything first. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dumbbell thrusters, grab your weights. You're going to sit into a squat and thrust your weights up into a press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Plank jack with a shoulder tap. You'll be in a high plank position. Can you see? Yeah. High plank position, you're going to drag your feet out, and then do a shoulder tap. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Then we got jumping jacks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Next, in and out. Getting those core muscles warm. You're going to bring your knees to your chest at the same time. One, two, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll restart. Go ahead, get back into it with nines. Squat jack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's next? Dumbbell thruster. Grab your weights. We're going for a nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shoulder tap. On the ground. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jack. Nine, eight, six, six, four, three, two, one. 
five, four, three, two, one. In and out. So we'll rest for about a minute. We will do eights and sevens, then rest for a minute, minute and a half. We will do six and fives, rest. Then we'll do four and three, rest. Then two and one. And then we'll be done. A little quick and dirty 30 workout. So just a few more seconds on the break, and we're starting with those squat jack. Okay, rest is long enough. Let's go ahead and get into it, squat jacks. For eight, because it doesn't where it's freezing in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dumbbell thrusters.
Let me see what the comments are saying. Hello, hello. I'm doing good, how are you? I hope the audio is better today and I hope I don't have um, internet issues, fingers crossed. Good, it sounds fun to me. Good, good, good. I lowered the microphone volume, so shouldn't be going past yelling. I'm naturally a very loud person. In general, though, I like to yell. And things like that when just talking, so. Okay, we've got sixes and fives right now. Squat jack. We're going for six. One, three, four, five, six. Six on the dumbbell thruster. Okay, go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plank jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. In and out. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got fives. Squat jack. We're going for five and then we'll be halfway through this workout. One, two, three, four, five. Pick up those weights. Dumbbell thrusters. One, two, three, four, and five. Plank jacks with shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, five. Jumping jacks. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, in and out. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! The jacket needs to come off. Break, take a break. We got fours, threes, twos, and ones left. Let's see how we're doing on the time. Oops. We're doing okay. We'll wait until that timer gets to the 15 to start. really good after I'm having some sort of hip issue. So I really need to stretch. So I'll take you guys through that. I think that'll be fun. It's going to be similar to yesterday stretching. Um, just more of it. And we're at the 45. So we just did six and five. We got four and three. Four, three, two, one. Grab those weights. Four, three, two, one. Plank jack with shoulder tap. Down on the ground. One, two, 
three, four, up. You got four, four, three, two, one. Four in and out. One, two, three, four. Three squat jacks, let's go. Push them through to the end. Three, two, one. Grab those dumbbells. Three squat thrusters. One, two, and three. Squat jack. No, not squat jack. Plank jack with shoulder tap. One, two, three, up. One, two, three. Back down. In and out. into those squat jacks. We're just going to finish it out with twos and ones. One, two. Grab those weights. One, two. Plank tap with the shoulder tap. One, two. Two. One. One. Two. Last one. One on everything. Let's go. One. Grab those weights. One. We're going to do two for the shoulder tap to make it even. One. Two. Up. One. Back down. Last one. Done. Okay, get a drink of water. And we will finish with loads of stretching. trainer for? Um, so I've been streaming on here for since October, so two months. And I just started in-person training. This will be my first month. It's only my second week. Um, so about three months, October, November, December, yeah, three months. I've only been certified since August. Um, but I do, I have been coaching like online nutrition programs for like a year and a half now. Um, so I've been doing that. So like I know how to coach people, but I've just been dealing with like the nutrition side of things and not the fitness side of things. So that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, the nutrition and the fitness, they go hand in hand in my opinion. So, we're going to do a good pigeon stretch here because this hip is, wow, so tight. As you can see, I can't even get my knee on the bench. It's like stuck or something and it hurts very, very, very badly. Switch. Okay. 
One thing that I'm not the best at is actually stretching. Um, since it's slower pace, I guess it just takes me a little bit longer to not commit to it, but things, things like stretching and yoga I know are great for you. I just like somebody to tell me what to do when working out, <laughs> which is funny because I train people. But I believe if you're going to train other people, you should also invest in yourself and have somebody train you. So we're going to stretch our quads. So right here, I'm squeezing my glute and it will stretch the front of your quad. Switch. talking to a webcam and a dog comes and scratches the door and like terrifies me. Wow. That didn't happen yesterday. I was not prepared for that. So sorry. We're going to stretch out our so as muscles so put your Put your uh, leg on the bench and hold yourself up. So, pretend like you have a logo on your t shirt and you're trying to show me. This will also get your hip flexor. And switch. We have a good amount, so. <laughs> what kind of dog? So, uh, this little at home gym setup is at my boyfriend's house. So, he has a Australian Shepherd Lab mix. And then I have a mutt, and she looks like a blonde, small lab, but she has like a husky tail that curls up and is really fluffy. Um, but I don't know what she is. She's from the Humane Society and it's just a mutt. She was labeled as a shepherd mix. So I think she has some shepherd in her. She has the face of a lab. And she, ha she does have like the really thick husky fur, but it's all blonde. Um, I'm, I'm so glad you could catch that little screen though. Uh, this is, so this little thing is at his house and like I have a window right behind here. And I'm like, he's throwing a ball in the backyard. So that's, that's that. This is uh, detached from his house and it's attached to the garage. Um, so that's why it leads straight to the outside. That's why it's also always freezing in here. And we have this little heater. And I think it's only set to like 50 degrees. <laughs> so that's that. Okay, we're going to, um, stretch our shoulders. We're going to come over to this wall and create a C with your hand. You're going to put it up against the wall and lean into that. But you should be facing straight. Let me scoot back. Okay, so my arm's behind me. My arm is parallel and it has a, I have a C with my hand and I'm leaning forward and leaning into the wall. And switch. So here you'll be able to see what I'm doing on my arm. Okay. 
Yes, I'm streaming from his gym. So I used to stream, I haven't ever had any of you guys watch before, but I used to stream at like nine in the morning. And um, it was at my parents' gym. They have a full blown gym in their basement. Um, but I live 30 minutes away from them, so just commuting, and I know that sounds so terrible, but I don't have like a normal work schedule. I like wake up, train from like five to 10, and then I now need to stream here, but then I also nanny. So I, I nanny two kids from noon until dinner, um, and they're doing like online school and things like that. So I just have a very weird schedule right now. <laughs> So yes, we redid this gym. We got this flooring this weekend and we painted the walls. They used to be white and now they're gray. And now we have this flooring and it's, uh, it's actually a fun fact. We want to build an at-home gym by horse stall flooring from Tractor Supply, if you have one, where you live. And um, it's what all the CrossFit gyms use. And it's like so thick and heavy that you can barely move it yourself. So that's what we chose to use. And it was way cheaper than um, than actual gym flooring that like connects like a puzzle. Um, yes, you can ask for advice in here about working out. If you guys ever have any nutrition or working out questions, you can always put them in here and I'll try my best to answer them since I am certified to. Um, busy lady, yes, I'm busy. Busy, busy, busy. I love it though, I would not change it. While I'm young, I guess I can do that, right? <laughs> Might change later. So about chin-ups, if you do them, what helps to increase reps? Good question. So if you have these bands, let me get it. Well, there's one right here. You can use these bands, these looped bands. Buy them on Amazon, it comes with a pack. So they come thicker, um, and then this is the skinniest one they have. You probably want something in between this, and you're going to wrap it around the top. So you'll take the loop, and you will put it through, and it will like hang on to the thing. Then you're going to put your foot in the bottom of the band right here, and that will help you. It will take some of the weight off of you. So I actually, one of my goals this year was to be able to do chin-ups by myself. My goal was 10, I'm only at four. Um, on a good day, I can do five. Uh, but what my trainer programmed me, and I only started doing these um, maybe three months ago, and I'm already up to four or five reps each time I do them. If you want to be able to do 10, you're really gonna have to work at it. Like he told me that I would have to do some at least every single day just to build that muscle back there. Um, but some days do just regular chin-ups with no added bands. Then the next day do some with bands and you'll be able to increase your reps. Then the next day do negatives. So jump up to the top of the bar and slowly, slowly, slowly lower yourself down. Those will help you gain back muscle so much. And then let's just say that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, let's uh, go back to doing the band. And then Friday, just body weight, regular chin-ups. So I would do as many reps as possible. So do three sets of as many chin-ups you can do on Monday by yourself. Um, Tuesday, do three sets as many reps as possible with the band. Wednesday, do the negatives and just do, I think three sets of five would be good for the negatives and then repeat. That's what I would do. I would love for you to try this out and see if you see an improvement. Um, that would be really cool. You'll have to let me know. Reverse row to help you. That's also a good one, yeah. Reverse rows are good. That's another thing. Chin-ups are a lot of back muscles. 
and so are pull-ups. So you have to have a really strong back to do them and core. So in your normal programming, uh, workout programming, you might want to add in, um, if, I, if you don't have equipment, for rows, you don't have equipment. Do you have like any type of weights, maybe just one kettlebell or anything like that? If you don't, that's totally fine. You, we can think of some back exercises. Um, okay, so you can actually use these bands. You can use these. I have tons of other bands in here that are smaller, these little ones. Um, of how much does one kg weigh? How many pounds is that? If you know the math, let me know. So something you can do is uh, 2.2 pounds, oh, okay. Okay, well you can take those small weights, hold them in your hand, you're going to do a reverse fly. So you just slowly and control it. So pretend I'm holding weights here. Core is tight, and you're just hinging at your hips, and then you're going to do a reverse fly. Something else, use these bands, put it on your feet. You can't see that, let me scoot back. Okay, I'm gonna put this band on the middle part of my shoes. I'm gonna hold it tight. You might have to like uh, grip up on it or choke up on it. And you can just sit here and do rows. But if you don't have weight, one way to make it more challenging is to just hold and pause. Three, two, one. Slowly go down. Back. Three, two, one. Slowly go down. Three, two, one. That's a thing, and you can change the grip too. So if you wanted to do like more of a wide row, change your grip. Like that. You can also do single arm. So if you have these small little looped bands. Yes, these, these workouts are for, for your back, yeah. If you have one of these small little bands, you can put it on your shoe and do single arm rows. So you, I have it apart, have it on the middle part of my shoe. And then it adds extra resistance because it's a tighter band, and do the same thing, and just hold. You can also put it on your shoe, and do like a row this way, if you want. So those are just some different ways that you can work your back at home. Um, and I hope that helps. So, our time is up, and I have to go work and eat, and I will be back tomorrow, hopefully a little bit earlier than today, but can I tie my band to the bar and do pull downs? Yes, that's a, no, that is a really good idea. Yeah, that's a great way to do it, yeah. Great exercise, good thinking. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good, what's today? Tuesday?